Here's the scene from the previous videos. We made it so when the mouse moves, the camera rotates to the left or the right. That's quite nice. I want you to watch a phenomenon here, though. As I bring my mouse over to the right of the window and I bring it back into the view, watch what happens to the two cubes in the center. They disappear. All right, let me keep moving my mouse. and You see the cubes eventually reappear. All right, I'll take my mouse out of the screen, bring it back in, and the cubes disappear. What's going on here? Let me explain. Let me uh, get the two cubes right there. You see where my mouse is right now? Notice I was moving my mouse out of the window towards the top. I bring my mouse up, and so my exit point was somewhere in here. And then I'm going to bring my mouse in back on the right-hand side. Now, it doesn't matter on the Y, at least for the purposes of the X. It doesn't matter where on the Y I bring my mouse into the window. The fact is, I bring my mouse into the window, and my old position is roughly right here. My new position is right here. And so the mouse delta is huge. It's this distance between both of them. And then we calculate this insane amount of rotation that we must rotate the scene. That's what's going on there. I bring my mouse into the right, disappears. Take my mouse out of the top. Let's bring it into the left this time. Into the left. Oh, that wasn't so bad. We got lucky because, because well, watch. As I move my mouse across the screen, it's just like we're going round and round and round and round. And it just so happened that I had 360 degrees there. So we got lucky there. But here, I bring it on the right. Bring it on the left. Right. Left. Not cool. Not cool. So the way we're going to fix that, say this is my old position. This is my new position again we figure out the mouse delta and if the mouse delta is huge if the magnitude is long then we just say hey forget it that's way too long we're not going to put up with that we'll just assume that the old position is the new position but we won't make any rotational changes it's a really easy fix let's go to our code here in the mouse update and we just need to say if glm length that gives us the magnitude of our vector if the length of the mouse delta is greater than some magical number we're going to put in here, some threshold we're not willing to put up with. We'll start with 10 and test that and see how that goes. If GLM length of the mouse delta is greater than 10 pixels, then the old mouse position gets the new mouse position. We'll still track the new mouse position as the old mouse position. But then we shall return and be done. We won't do the rest of the code that follows. Now Steve Halliday, if you know my buddy Steve Halliday, he's, he would have a heart attack with this and I almost kind of have to agree with him, but Steve Halliday is not big on these early return statements. And why? Well, I have redundant code here and I have redundant code here. Steve Halliday would rather have me do an if else here. And to be honest, in this condition it probably would make sense, but I think it's just funny how we can get religious about things like this. I am wasting time. Uh, old mouse position, new position, return, otherwise do all this stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll try that with 10 pixels. Let me take the mouse out, mouse in, mouse in, mouse in. That's nice. You see it's not jumping anymore, but I'll show you something. If I move my mouse quickly, then the mouse move events are not fired in fast enough that we actually get this jitter. I'm not getting a nice consistent uh, flow. So like my mouse is here right now, I quickly move it to the left. I would expect my camera to turn quickly to the left, but it doesn't because my old mouse position was here. I moved my mouse so fast, the new mouse position's here, and so it didn't register all of this change in between. So I think we need a bigger threshold here. Let's try 50. That might be too big. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's better. See, I can quickly move my mouse. If I move my mouse really fast, I get the jitter. But anyway, that's nice. That solves that that jumpy problem. So there we go.